Hi, Bristol Middle School Bears. Time for some more math. Our learning target today is what is a unit rate? So we're wrapping up this unit. We're going to be doing some review for topic 11 today to prepare you for your test. We're going to be talking about constant speed, unit rate, unit price, and per. Remember that unit and per mean one. So review problem number one. An airplane is flown for 11 hours and travels a total distance of 5,049 miles. What is the unit rate for the miles per hour? Think to yourself, read the problem twice. We're gonna read it again. An airplane has flown for 11 hours and travels at a total distance of 5,049 miles. What is the unit rate for miles per hour? Now, now we're gonna organize the information. We're gonna use a table for this. So we have distance over time, which is miles to hours. So this whole top one is miles and the bottom is hours. So per hour means one. So per meaning one, so one hour. We're gonna find those relationships. So we're gonna take the time and time goes to time and miles goes to miles but we don't know how many miles per hour, that's what we're trying to determine. To determine that, we're gonna divide both of them by 11 because 11 divided by 11 is one. 5,049 divided by 11 is gonna give us our unit rate for miles per hour. We're gonna go ahead and solve the problem. You can plug this into a calculator. 5,049 divided by 11 is gonna be 459. So the answer is the unit rate is 459 miles per hour. Review problem number two. A vehicle uses 12 gallons of gasoline to travel 516 miles. Complete the table to show the equivalent ratios. Then use the table to determine how many gallons of gas were used to travel 344 miles. So we're gonna read the problem again. A vehicle uses 12 gallons of gasoline to travel 516 miles. Complete the table to show the equivalent ratios. Then use the table to determine how many gallons of gas were used to travel 344 miles. We're gonna organize our information. It's already given to us in an organized fashion. We already have it organized into a table, so we don't have to do more at this point. Find the relationships. Well, we can see that our ratio down here is 12 to 516. So we're gonna use that to help us figure out the unit rate, okay? We're gonna divide both of those by 12. 12 divided by 12 is one, and 516 divided by 12 is 43. Again, that gives us our unit rate. We're using the unit rate to help us figure out how to fill out the rest of the table. So we go from one to 43, multiply both of those by two, and we get two to 86. Now we're gonna do one to 43 to four, and then we're gonna multiply both of those by four now because one times four is four, 43 times four is 172. Going back to that unit rate again, one to eight is one times eight is eight, 43 times eight is 344. Then we use it to fill out the last part of the table because we still have to fill out the whole table. One to 16 is one times 16, 43 times 16 is 688. Now we're gonna solve the problem. We're just gonna look at the table and read it. We're looking for 344 miles and we find it right here. Eight gallons of gas goes 344 miles. So eight gallons of gas were used. View problem number three. You wanna buy some cheeses. The 15 ounce regular box costs $2.79. The 24 ounce value size costs $4.89. Which package is the best buy? Read the problem twice. You wanna buy some Cheez-Its. The 15 ounce regular box costs $2.79. The 24 ounce value size costs $4.89. Which package is the best buy? Organize the information. Draw a table. The box size, the price, the total ounce, and then the price per ounce. We're organizing this information here. So we're organizing that information. We have our regular box size, it's 279, it's 15 ounces. 
The value size is $4.89 and it's 24 ounces. Find those relationships. The price divided by the ounces is gonna give us the price per ounce. The price divided by the ounces is gonna give us the price per ounce. So on the first one, $2.79 divided by 15 ounces is gonna give us 19 cents per ounce. $4.89 divided by 24 ounces is gonna give us 20 cents per ounce. Now we're gonna solve the problem. We're looking and we're just reviewing these two. Which one is the better buy? The regular size or the value size? The regular size is the better buy. So our answer is that the regular size is the better buy. Moving on to problem number four. Store A sells 30 pounds of rice for $5. Store B sells 25 pound bag of rice for $3.50. Which store has the best buy? We're gonna read that problem again. Store A sells a bag, 30 pound bag of rice for $5. Store B sells a 25 pound bag of rice for $3.50. Which store has the best buy? We're gonna organize our information into a table. We're putting that information into a table. So store A, the price is $5 for 30 ounces. Store B, the price is $3.50 for 25 ounces. We're gonna find those relationships. The price divided by the total ounces is gonna give us price per ounce. 350 divided by 25 is gonna give us the price per ounce. $5 divided by 30 ounces is gonna be 17 cents per ounce and 350 divided by 25 ounces is gonna be 14 cents per ounce. So we solved the problem by looking at it and 14 cents is cheaper than 17 cents. So store B has the best buy. Review problem number five. Every afternoon I ride my bike for 15 minutes. If I ride 16 miles an hour, how far do I travel? Read the problem twice. Every afternoon I ride my bike for 15 minutes. If I ride 16 miles an hour, how far do I travel? I'm gonna organize our information, draw our table. So we have our distance over our time, our miles to our minutes. So here's our miles and what we're trying to figure out how far we're going. If I go 16 miles in an hour, you notice that this is just minutes. So we have to remember that 60 minutes equals one hour. So 16 miles per hour, 16 miles per 60 minutes. But I'm only riding my bike for 15 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna find that relationship. We're going from minutes to minutes and miles to miles. We're gonna divide both of them by four because 60 divided by four is 15. 16 divided by four is gonna help us solve the problem, which is four. So I travel far, four miles. Review number five. Jen wants to swim six miles each day for exercise. The table below shows how many strokes he needs to build up to six miles. How many strokes will he need to go four miles? Read the problem twice. Jen wants to swim six miles each day for exercise. The table below shows how many strokes he needs to take to build up to six miles. How many strokes will he need to take to go to four miles? We're gonna organize the information. So here's the table that they're talking about and it shows one mile, two miles, four miles, six miles. So the one that we're missing is the four. We know how many strokes he needs to go six, but we need to know how many needs to go four. So we find the relationships. Well, this right here is our unit rate, right? He's in between a swing, but he's gonna tell us that's the unit rate. We're using the unit rate to find the missing spots. So, from one to four, we multiply by four because it's getting bigger. So we do the same thing to 3,224, we multiply by four. That helps us solve the problem and find out that it's 12,896. He will need 12,896 strokes to go four miles. Review number seven. If a train averages 126 miles per hour for 11 hours, how far does the train travel? Read the problem twice. If a train averages 126 miles per hour for 11 hours, how far does the train travel? 
organize the information, we're going to draw a table. So the train averages 126 miles per, per, per hour. That's our rate right there. And it's traveling for 11 hours. Find the relationships. We're going from 1 to 11 and 126 to figure out how many miles it's going to be. We're going to multiply both of them by 11 because 1 times 11 is 11. Under 26 times 11, 1,386. So the train travels 1,386 miles. Review number eight. A bag of Cheetos has 750 calories and five servings. How many calories are there per serving? Read the problem twice. A bag of Cheetos has 750 calories and five servings. How many calories are there per serving? Organize the information. Draw a table. Calories to servings. There's 750 calories and five servings. How many are there per serving? Per meaning one. We find the relationships. We go from servings to servings and calories to calories. We're doing the same thing to both of those. We're going to divide them by five because five divided by five is one. So 750 divided by five is 150. And that's solving the problem. There are 150 calories per serving. In summary, unit and per both represent the amount of one in ratios. Organize your work to help you solve these problems. Until next time, keep practicing. Practice makes permanent.